single most necessary element for any of us to sustain and live and thrive is water. We think of it as the air, infinite and inexhaustible. But when you use water in such quantities that it exceeds the capacity of the system to renew itself, you have a problem. Farms all over the Central Valley have been allowed to dry up. The drought in China's southwest region is the worst of the last century. 4,000 children die each day because of water shortages, and the situation is worsening. In the scientific community, we're starting to think it's not drought, it's really part of climate change. We can't take it for granted that a chemical can pass through silt or sand and on the other end come out pristine. There is no future here because of the control of the water. They are gradually taking it away from the farmers. It won't be good. With the raw sewerage being discharged into the River Jordan, it's not one lake. It's not just one well that's contaminated. It's 30, it's 300, it's 3,000. If we were smart, we would dramatically rethink agriculture and urban water use. Over the last decade or so, Singapore has worked very hard to develop new innovative sources of water. It was Albert Einstein who said those who have privileged to know, have the duty to act. There's a common agenda for all of us, for every walk of life, and that's why.